Hey what's up guys I'm at here and today we have the AW35 smartwatch yes another smartwatch which looks like a mechanical watch this smartwatch has a very unique look and also comes with a rotatable bezel and not just that it also comes with many applications inside it and in this video we're gonna be checking out all of its features but before we start if you're new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's get right into it and discover everything in the AW35 smartwatch so here's the box let's find out what comes inside it so first of all if we lift this up we get the aw35 smartwatch after that if we lift this up we get magnetic charger inside it then we have strap size adjustment tool and in the end we have the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch and here is the first complete look on the smartwatch it's looking quite good and it's truly hard to believe that it's not a mechanical watch you are only gonna know it's a smartwatch when the display turns off so first of all talking about the size the width of the smartwatch smartwatch is 50 millimeters we have a stainless steel body it has matte finish here it has matte finish here and here we have glossy finish after that we have a rotatable bezel at the top then on the right side we get three buttons the upper one is used to turn off the display and to turn it back on and we have a crown key which cannot be clicked it is only used to rotate which can be used to change the watch faces and you can also use it to scroll in a list after that we have the lower button which can be used to access the sport modes on the back side we get the health sensors here and here we have the magnetic charging points the smartwatch is using 22 millimeter straps and here's how it looks on the wrist what do you think about it it's looking exactly like a mechanical watch let me know about your opinion in the comment section below after that it is using the realtek 8763 ewe chip and overall i really like the performance of this chip the smartwatch is quite smooth even while scrolling and if you check out this menu style you can see that the movement of the smartwatch is quite smooth other than that i haven't faced any freezing issue or any restarting issue in the smartwatch i have it for about two weeks now it is said to be using dual band bluetooth and as advertised it is using bluetooth version 3.0 and 5.0 there's no advertisement about the waterproof level so i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days so to change the system language you need to open the application go all the way down to others and here we have the languages so let me show you all of the languages supported by it So these were all of the languages supported by it. After that talking about the display it is using a 1.28 inches TFT display which is a big negative point in my opinion an AMOLED display on this smartwatch would be next level. Even with the TFT display the movement is quite smooth but an AMOLED display would have surely looked better. The screen resolution is set to be 240 into 240 and overall the picture and text clarity on the smartwatch is quite good. After that if you look at the watch faces almost all of the watch faces are perfectly designed to suit the style of the smartwatch this watch face will be replaced by the custom watch face you use from the gallery if i talk about my personal preference then this watch face is my favorite these two watch faces make it look exactly like a mechanical watch the watch faces have sweeping seconds hand with smooth movement talking about the watch faces with digital clock it supports 12 hour as well as 24 hour clock format after that on the home screen we get the control center then we have the menu from left to right from right to left we have quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the notifications if you check out the screen time the screen time is not mentioned in the smartwatch there is no option to check the screen time in the smartwatch it uses the fit application and here you will have to go to others and from the auto lock option you can choose the maximum time for the screen the maximum time can be 30 seconds and after 30 seconds of inactivity the display will turn off so there is no always on display option for this smartwatch and the second disappointing thing is that it also does not come with the always on display or the screen of dial option and after the screen time ends it turns off the display in my opinion the smartwatches which look like this should have the always on display option because they look useless when the display is turned off and with the display turned off it will look like a toy it comes with the race to wake option to turn on the display then if you talk about the menu style it comes with two menu styles first one is the list view and if you go to settings and menu view the second menu style is the hand view i prefer the list view for ease of access as in list view all of the applications will show their name next to the icon you can also turn the vibration on or off in the smartwatch and the vibration intensity is quite good here we have the ringing option you can also turn it on or off 
off from here. To download the applications, you can go to settings and go to app download and here scan this QR code. And if you are downloading it from the app store or play store, you will have to search for the fit application. So in the application, first of all, we have the watch faces. These are all of the built-in watch faces. You can customize this one with your own picture from the gallery. For that, tap on edit. After that, you can choose a picture from here. After selecting the picture, you can crop it and you can choose the position of time. We have above and below option. Then you can choose what is shown above the time and what is shown below the time. And here we have the text color option. And you can also select AI outfit watch face. To use this feature, you need to click a picture of something. And after clicking a picture, tap on generate. And then it will generate an AI watch face according to that. So you can also customize it from here. And after that, we have some wallpapers that you can use for the custom watch face. You can also receive notifications directly on the smartwatch. First of all, we have the phone notification. And in the notifications, we also have the others option. Which means even if an application isn't listed here, it can still send you the notifications for it. It does not have to specifically include all of the installed applications on your smartphone, but includes most of the main ones. It wakes up the display when you receive a new notification and shows a full screen prompt. It only vibrates, it does not ring, and for longer notifications, it doesn't support scrolling, and it also does not support emojis. Here's how the notification center looks like. To mute the notifications, you can go all the way down in the application, go to others, and here you can turn on do not disturb mode. Then the notifications will be silently added in the notification center and won't won't be shown on the home screen. Then as shown here, you can also receive phone notifications. Not just notifications, it also has Bluetooth calling and it uses the same connection as watch application for Bluetooth calling. To enable it, all you need to do is access the control center and turn on this calling icon. After that, you can access the phone call application and then access the dial pad and then call a person directly from the smartwatch. So not just dial calls, you can also receive calls directly on it. You can silent the call from here. Then we have the reject and accept option. And once you accept the call, you can transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch from here. You can also mute the call from here. You can adjust the volume level from here. And in the end, you can hang up the call from here. Using Bluetooth calling, you can also access the voice assistant directly on it. So tap on it to wake it up. How's the weather today? Should be sunny today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 34 degrees with overnight lows around 20. And the volume level is quite loud and quite clear. After that, using the Bluetooth connection, you can also control the media playing on the device. And if you turn on audio Bluetooth, and then if you try to control the media playing on the device, it will shift the sound from the smartphone to the smartwatch. So basically, the audio Bluetooth option is used to stream the media sound from the smartphone to the smartwatch. If you do not want that, you can turn off audio Bluetooth. And then if you try to control the media playing on the device, you will be able to control the media playing on the device and the sound won't be shifted from the smartphone to the smartwatch smartwatch which is a great option in my opinion and now if you go back to the application we have the find device option here using which the smartwatch will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it in the applications we also get the find phone option using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it and you can also use the smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button and click pictures directly using it you can also sync your favorite contacts and add up to eight commonly used contacts in it in the end we have the other step from where you can select the unit format after that you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch you can select the temperature format from here and here you can also select the location manually it shows the weather right now the high and lows of the current day and also the weather for the upcoming days and then we have the health feature Features, including full day heart rate monitoring, reminders to move, heart rate alert and physiological cycle reminder. Other than that, in the application, we have the profile tab where you can set up your profile. You can also set your goals here and you can also connect it with Apple Health as well as Strava. Here we have the sports tab. Then in the end, we have the health tab which shows you all of your health data. In the end, let's take a look at the rest of the features. So first of all, we have the pedometer here. So let me take a few steps in the room to see if pedometer works fine or not. So it took around 35 steps and it counted 44 steps. So the accuracy might not be so great because I was walking casually in the room. I was holding the smartwatch still in my hands and also remember that the results might vary when walking or running outside. Then we get the heart rate, blood pressure and blood oxygen level checker. And if you use any of them in the air, it gives the error that please wear the watch properly. Now let's try with straps at the back. And now it is continuing to measure the data, which means the smartwatch does not have wear detection and will even measure the data on anything then we have sleep tracker 
but since it does not have a working wear detection so i probably won't trust it then we have a lot of sport modes here so you can also add more from here after selecting a sport mode it starts directly you cannot customize the time distance and calorie target here we have beach training you can tap here to start it it does not have the option to customize the time and the speed we get two games inside it we have young bird which is similar to flappy bird and then we have 2048 we also get the calculator application so here we have the basic functionalities like multiplication division subtraction and addition and if you try the percentage feature then it works fine for multiplication but if you try to add a percentage value it shows incorrect answers in the end we have stopwatch you can tap here to start it and tap here to add labs you cannot quit while using stopwatch and when you end the stopwatch you can take a look at all of your labs then you can add the alarms from the watch application you can edit the time and everything from here you can choose if you want to repeat the alarm and then you can tap on done and after that you will be able to see that alarm in the application you cannot edit the alarms directly in the smartwatch you can only turn them off or on from here and here is how the alarm is shown as far as i have checked it didn't ring for me it only vibrates and the vibration intensity for the alarm is also not too strong and in the end we have timer so it has some predefined times here you cannot set time according to your need the minimum time is 10 minutes here and these were all of the applications in the aw35 smartwatch and now it is time to talk about the battery life so first of all it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 280 billion pair hours and you can charge it using the magnetic charger provided in the box if i talk about my personal experience i fully charged this smartwatch around three years ago the smartwatch has been turned on since then and i've spent around 40 to 45 minutes in complete this video in which it only went down from 100% to 96% so overall the standby time is quite good I also interacted with the smartwatch in this time but in my opinion a major role behind this battery life is the screen time that it cannot stay on for more than 30 seconds and it also does not have a screen off dial so after 30 seconds of inactivity the display simply turns off but still it's a great battery life and I think it can easily give you four to five days of normal usage so guys this was all from today's video and from the aw35 smartwatch what do you think about it honestly i really like its look the design and everything is just on point and in this price range i think it's a great smartwatch but in my opinion two to three editions might have made this smartwatch a lot better first of all a major thing missing in it is an amulet display an AMOLED display would have provided great vibrancy to the colors and the next thing is a screen of dial. The smartphone does not have the always on display option for the watch face and it also does not have a screen of dial and the screen simply turns off after 30 seconds. I would have really appreciated an always on display option in the smartwatch since a smartwatch like this would have looked great with an always on display for this watch face but other than that it looks like a quite solid smartwatch and also looks great on the wrist. If you would like to place an order, I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.